everybody, this is Cypher Deck, and we are back in Space Engineers. It's been so long. So what we are doing is we are going to do a survival let's play. We are not going to have cargo ships. We are going to do a full on mineathon and whatnot. Now, I'm not going to do all the mining <laughs> during the videos, of course, but this is more of a let's play for people who've never played the game or people who do play the game or have played the game and just want to get back into it, but maybe they don't know how everything works. So I'm going to take this at, as a basic level, so um, if it's something that you already know, I understand, we will get to a point where... I will be getting to more of the uh, technical aspects, but we want to definitely start from the beginning. So what we're going to do is because we only have, let's go over here, this is our reactor, only have a certain amount of resources as far as uh, power goes, let's go ahead and press K, you'll see that we only have around 38 kilograms of plutonium left, or uranium, I'm sorry, I keep saying plutonium. Um, so what we need to do is first thing is get uranium. So that is what I will do. I'm going to look around. These seem to have a good chance of having uh, uranium in them. So let us go ahead and go check it out. So we're going to go ahead and press uh, <laughs> X and uh, head on up. Uh, press V to get back into first person mode. Um, so yeah. We're going to, I have a checklist of things that we need to do. Um, some of them I'm going to do offline, some of them we'll do online. Uh, the ones that we're going to do online are um, first get resources so that we can at least keep our station going. Uh, we need to clear this bar. And I, I'm in this menu by pressing G. We're going to go to character tools and just double click these and get these on our hotbar and this is our drill of course and um, I see silicon uh, silver and uh, iron but I do not see uranium let's go check these out that's pretty neat there are two asteroids that are uh, almost linked together I'm guessing these are going to be mostly iron, if anything, yes, iron, and iron, it looks like iron, alright, so, uh, does that have a big opening in it, maybe, um, so yeah, we need to find uranium first and foremost, from there on, we are going to go ahead and today, before we leave, we will start the skeleton of our ship, um, and our very first ship, of course, is going to be for mining because that is going to be our lifeblood. So the next episode, um, I before the next episode, actually, um, my plan is to have all of the resources mined for us to be able to finish making that ship. Um, is that? No, it's not. Darn it. That looks like silicon. Right there. I'm not seeing. Uh, we'll need palladium or platinum. I think that pla palladium. Uh, palladium. Um, let's see. Iron. Uh, this isn't going well for us right off the bat. Magnesium will also need iron. Oh man. Oh, don't hit anything. I do not have heal regen on. And um, we do have a message that should come up telling us that we need to get back to our station and uh, refuel uh, whenever that ends up happening. So this is kind of um, aggravating <laughs> because we are definitely going to need to get this uh, resource as soon as possible and um, get to doing what we do. Um, normally we have a hollow um, asteroid that has all the resources in it and I'm hoping we find one because that would be kind of nice turn off our light uh, because that does waste energy um, good thing though is that we have 
a lot of um, options as far as materials go um, in some of the um, asteroids that we've been to so far. But we need uranium, and I, I think I'm going to just drill into this. Um, I'm just going to let it <laughs> let us find it. So I'm going to use my left mouse but or my my uh, right mouse button. Hey, what do you know? Uranium right there. And uh, right click it because it will just dig away materials around us. Allow us to go straight to where we need to go. Um, we, we're not picking up anything. It's just letting us... Uh, let's go ahead and press this. And we'll go ahead and mine some of this out. Uh, you want to press T and it will um, loot items. Alright, so this is a situation where there is no uranium even. Ah! Is that a pocket? That's a pocket. That looks like a pocket to me. Definitely not going to be enough. Just want to make sure we don't let too much fly off and out and wherever it wants to go. Alright. So, is that, was that just, okay, let's continue. <laughs> I like to make circles while I'm mining. It just makes it easier to pick up as much as I can. Something that I'm probably going to end up doing, um, how much did I get? Did I get any uraniums? Uh, it's not very much, but that will do for now. Um... Let's not let this go to waste. Stone we will need for making, is it thrusters or reactors? I think. All right, just do what we can. Um, as you see, while we're mining, um, we don't get everything um, like by just holding T, things just fly off. So what we'll, what I want to do it with our ship is going to be kind of unconventional. Uh, we are going to have a pipeline going down the center of the ship and it's going to go to a hopper so that we can collect more of the material um, instead of it floating around it. Um, don't know, I, I may or may not do that to be honest. Um, if it looks stupid, I, I won't do it. I, I like to have um, at least some kind of quality look to a ship. It may not be the best looking ship, uh, but if it's functional and um, and it doesn't look like it was hacked together by someone who didn't know what they were doing, then I, I try to stay away from that. Um, let's go ahead and so as you can see we have this um, name that says platform on it and what it is is it's showing us uh, it's a beacon. Now if we run out of power we lose that signal telling us where our station is and then we are in trouble. So definitely want to keep your uranium uh, resources up. Uh, we do have all of these maxed out, so mining, or uh, grinding, um, welding, refining, and assembling uh, is all fast-tracked. Um, so that way we're not just sitting around doing nothing. Uh, stone is going to be last. So while that's doing what it's doing, there are some other things that I need to get, but right now what I want to do is what I always do. Um, there are resources here that I don't use or don't need, um, or things that I can use the resources on um, doing other things with. So we're going to get rid of all of these landing gears. And once they are gone, we will also go, this is about two or three um, layers thick below here. It's two layers, I'm pretty sure. And then there's layers going around the sides as well. Um, and that will give us all the resources that we need. All 
right. And we will do a few of these until we just run out of space. And then we'll start working on our ship. Ah, I ran out of space. So let's go over here. And just throw... I'm not going to use those, so let's go ahead and get the rest of this. Come on. And again, we'll go throw those back in here. Until we make a cargo container, this is pretty much our storage. So, yeah. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and start our ship. Um, I have some plans. I have ideas. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with it. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, before I do that... Uh, there's the... Uh, Alright. Alright, before I do that, I always have to do this as well. Let's go ahead and put all of this in here. It's I have to move this. And I have to change it from this style to the newer style. Uh, just because I can't stand this thing. This is what we use to replenish our um, energy, and that is the medical bay there. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and press Shift 2, and you'll see that it goes to a new tab down here. Um, we have four tabs total. I'm sure a lot of people would like to have tabs going all the way across, um, but that's not in the game yet. So we'll just go ahead and right click this and get this on our bar and place it down. I don't really care which way it faces. Shift one and then weld it back up. Because we have all the resources from the other chair, uh, this is no issue getting this back up online. And there we go. So that's done. Um, let's go ahead and refuel our energy. And as you see in the uh, left hand corner, above volume and below um, speed is our energy. And um, every time we get to about 10%, I think it is, we will hear a message saying that you're running low on energy. Um, one thing I need to do is get these two connected because for some reason, this being over top of this just isn't moving the items down. So let's go ahead and press K. Let's go in here to uh, actually go into inventory and go to a similar and go to refinery. And well, okay, actually we don't. Um, reactor. All right, I think that's enough for now. Come on. Uh, you can't move it that way. All right, so let's go to my inventory. Move that, and we definitely need to get this started. And we'll just put it in here. It keeps it from um, uh, us shutting down, and that is much more than we need. I believe if we go sit down over here, it will actually tell us how much uh, fuel we have or how long it will last. Um, nine hours, so we will need more. So we'll have to just worry about that later. And let us go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Shift F2. Go ahead and get rid of this. And I'm making a drone. Um, this will allow us to be able to have a ship that does things for us while we are doing other things. Um, so let us get started. We'll do a new small ship, and I have no materials on me, so let's go ahead and go in here. Uh, not there. Press K. Get these. We need that and that. Okay. New small ship. Kind of want to have it a little bit this way, uh, away from that, because I build long ships usually, so. Let's go ahead and plan out our toolbars. I'm gonna to go ahead and go with these here. Um, probably do that. 
Uh, those. And what these are is these are just um, regular armor blocks. These are uh, small reactor and gyros. This is what allows you to control your ship. And then we will go to number three. And this is going to have our connectors. And that one. Go to four. And this is going to have our specialty blocks which is going to be our control panel, our camera, our sensor, and our remote control. And I think that's all that we need to get started. Um, oh yeah, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go back in here. We will also need uh, drills. So let's get started with just um, getting few things put on so I like to start by making the ship really high up in the air this would will allow me to um, play around and see how I want things to work out um, let's see let's go here and I'm gonna try to see how a hopper looks oh my goodness that thing is huge so huge oh my goodness <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna use a hopper. So what we'll do is, come on now. Um, I don't want it to be too big, but we need the space for our, um, for our, uh, what is it called? Drill, <laughs> our drills uh, to be able to uh, put down and, um, and be able to grind as, as big as the ship is. So if we have them really close to the ship and we have a huge container in the back, then that's not gonna work for us because we have to compensate for uh, the size of the container. So um, let's go ahead and start off by, um, let's say five blocks is how big we're gonna have it. So one, two, three, four, five, five and I'm gonna go ahead and come out to the side about two so that's five and I want to there's the center this may be much bigger than it needs to be okay And then let's go, well, sorry, I keep forgetting. I'm not used to the tabs yet. That's something that um, is very new to me. So what I'll do is put these here. And um, later on, I plan to terraform um, one of the larger asteroids so that I can put my, um, my actual space station on there with landing pads and all kinds of things. Uh, so that looks pretty decent. Um, I kind of wish that I could have this right here. I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's take a look at how the drill looks. See, if I put it there, that would be almost perfect. It'd allow me to have, um, put it there if I put it here it won't interfere with anything I think that's going to be fine and if you're wondering uh, what the tubes are for um, those tubes allow all the materials that go into um, into these so when they grind they actually pick up materials um, and then they go uh, back into a crate so that they don't take up so much um, so much space. Um, let's see. I really want to hop on the front, but um, if I did that, then it would be such a waste of materials. Does a hop? What does a hopper have on the back of it? I just took the hopper off. I know. I know. I, I'm just being a creative, creatively 
the siding it does have one of those on the back of it but we can't get it to fit right there for some reason is it uh, have the plates so maybe if I move um, let's see uh, it's because of those if I move it back about there Nope, that's not what I wanted. Six. So if I move it to there, it works fine. And it will be able to pick up anything on each side that it misses. I want that. That's I'm doing that. <laughs> I don't uh, I think that's the best way to go. So um Is that it? No, oh, sir. All right. Is that going to work? I think so. I think that's going to be fine. It's going to allow me to put other things that I need right here. Um can probably put thrusters here and on the bottom um, I think that's gonna work I think that's gonna be fine good goodness good things so now then we have to get all these hoses working together I think the best place to put these is right here and then have these come down so these will come this way interior plates okay and Tory um, and there we go production interior plates we'll do a hundred of them and yeah, because we don't want to have too many conveyors uh, on our ship. We just want to be able to have splitters going everywhere. Actually, I may have that come back one because um, I just want to make sure that that's going to pull out of here straight into the cargo container. Um, this also allows me to question, do I want to have more than one cargo container because of uh, the size of these is just perfect for having a car there I don't know what I'm thinking right now um, so, do, 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 um, let's go in here Not. And this one out here. Okay. This is going to look so ugly. Uh, I'm going to definitely have to get rid of these because I'm going to need the space for thrusters. I think we'll see I don't want this thing to be massive but it's already looking like it's gonna be huge uh, one other thing is we don't want to get too far into the build when um, because we do have to weld all of this stuff up so let's go ahead and come down here um, let's go here so to move things around like that, you need to use page down, page up, uh, home, end, and insert and delete. Okay. 
Okay. You know, if I was to come down to a connector here, then I could have this come from here. I think that, that looks good. And then have these come down. So let me know what you guys think. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I, I have a lot of stuff that I have to do as far as um, mining goes. Uh, I don't want to get too much further into the build. Um, just because we're going to have to do so much more. Get so many more materials. But I will go ahead and stop here. Let me know what you guys think. If I need to change a few things. If it's gonna work like this because I've had problems in the past where whenever I had a conveyor system that it did not work the way that I wanted it to but I think if I do it the way that I plan this is going to come out from here and go to a chest or not a chest but a cargo container probably in the center um, so I will if I was to do it I, I can do it real quick Actually, I don't want to do it that way. I want to have my um, uh, let's see. I want to have this. Oh my goodness! I hope that's right. One, two, yeah, that's where I want it. And we'll go ahead and come back to here and then go back. And let's say to about here. Did I put that in there? No, I didn't. We'll go a medium chest. Now make sure that that is facing like that because we're gonna have a hopper on the top let's go ahead and do that now I guess um, actually where I have it there the hopper is so huge or not hopper but connector but um, I think that, oh, yeah, that's definitely off, off center. Let's try that again. Okay. Um, that looks right. All right, so, yeah, there's that. Now we're going to have to put thrusters. We have to still put reactors. We also have to put um, gyroscopes. Um... That's off center as well. What the what? What the what? Why is it not just going on center? Anyway, I'll keep working on this, guys. I'm not going to build too much. Uh, I really am not going to build at all. I'm just going to try to get things. Um, yeah, there's that. No more building for me. I'm just going to do some mining before our next video so that I can hopefully get a lot of this um, built and then uh, hopefully be done with this ship before the end of the next video or at least close enough that we can finish it in the third video and start getting our mining done. I am uh, the only thing I'm really worried about is that being too big. I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably going to change it to where the connector is coming out the back because that is way too high. I don't want to have it scraping on the, the roof of whatever we're going to be mining. So anyway, guys, this is Cypher Deck. I hope you had a great day. I hope you liked the video. Please let me know what you think in the little place below. And then if you like it, like it. If you don't, then don't, I guess. Um, please subscribe if you want to. Uh, have a great day. Bye.